This is a 7 News Special Report. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jonathan Hall. Some sad news tonight. The Kennedy clan in mourning once again. Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy is dead. She was 104 years old. Mrs. Kennedy passed away at 5.30 this afternoon at the Kennedy compound in Hyannisport. Her family was at her side. She died of complications from pneumonia. In a statement, her son, Senator Edward Kennedy, says she passed away peacefully. Her life was long and extraordinary. Sure was. Here's 7 News political reporter Andy Hiller. I'm very grateful to all of you who have come and to all of you who have given me so much encouragement during all these years. They were, of course, very long years, and at the end of them, this was the public image of Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy and how she'll be remembered, celebrating her birthday at the family compound on Cape Cod. But few remember how it was at the beginning. Everybody in all my dreams, you're the best to be. The singer was John Fitzgerald, Honey Fitz as he was known, Rose's father, mayor of Boston, member of Congress. She was his eldest and was often seen with him in the time when the Irish were gaining political power in Boston. Her education and upbringing were strongly Irish Catholic. Years later, she'd vow that her belief in God would sustain her in tragedy and trial, including perhaps public reports and rumors about the private conduct of her husband and sons. I think a great many people through the, the centuries have had that resilience of spirit and that, that will to uh, keep on. Rose Kennedy would speak of happier times, too, founded in her marriage to Joseph P. Kennedy, whom she'd met at Old Orchard Beach, Maine, when he was four years old. Later, as he made millions of dollars and served in government posts, including as ambassador to England, Rose Kennedy always remained the mother. Whenever I first held my newborn babe in my arms, I used to think that what I did and what I said to him would have an influence not only on him, but on all whom he met. Some of those children would die young. Others would enter politics and write a story that is known by all, always with their mother at their side. John would ascend to the presidency. Robert would become U.S. Senator from New York. I can tell you, of course, a great deal about him. <laughs> I used to spank him with the ruler. And a smiling Robert Kennedy responded with the story of a New York politician who at first didn't like him. But then he spent a day with mother, and uh, he wants to run her. There would come for Robert Kennedy that sorrowful train ride to his resting place, as earlier there had been for John Kennedy another ride to his. Uh, her faith and belief in religion has been a source of enormous strength to her and to all the members of our family. It's uh, permitted her to be strong in times of sadness and also to have a very special sense of uh, joy. Sometimes it seemed Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy would always be among us to celebrate another birthday. But of course, she and we knew that could not be. To say that she lived a full life is an understatement. To say that she as a mother deeply affected the affairs of the nation and the world is not. She survived four of her nine children, including, of course, the president. Mrs. Kennedy had been confined to a wheelchair since suffering a stroke in April of 1984. In lieu of flowers, the Kennedy family asks that you give to the Joseph P. Kennedy Jr. Foundation, 1350 New York Avenue Northwest, Washington, D.C. That's a charity to help the mentally retarded. 7 News reporter Mike Macklin is in Hyannisport tonight and he'll have all the very latest in a Team 7 report tonight at 11. I'm Jonathan Hall. Good evening. This has been a 7 News special report. We now return to regularly scheduled programming. Live from WHDH-TV Boston. Three, ten, five, on the air. This is 7 News at 5. She led a life of stunning successes and shattering tragedies. Tonight, the nation mourns the death of Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy. Our other top story, a coast away, the eyes of a nation focus in on Los Angeles and the people versus O.J. Simpson. Will unfinished business put opening statements on hold?
Good evening, I'm John Marler. And I'm Kim Kerrigan. We're following two major stories this evening. One, of course, is the O.J. Simpson trial. The other is the death of Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy. If her family was royalty, she was the queen. Mrs. Kennedy died of pneumonia in Hyannisport last night. She was 104 years old. Her family was at her side. Our Team 7 coverage begins with Jonathan Hall, who is at the Kennedy compound. Jonathan? John, some three dozen Kennedy family members are gathered here at the Kennedy compound tonight for Rose Kennedy's wake. The first session ended about a half an hour ago, and the night session will continue in about an hour. All of those family members know Rose Kennedy's life is a lesson in perseverance and faith. Thanks to her faith in God, Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy held the family together through both triumph and tragedy. She was always there for them, and now they are coming here for her. Mrs. Kennedy will be buried at Holyhood Cemetery in Brookline tomorrow. It's the family plot at Holyhood. Uh, Ambassador Joseph Kennedy uh, is, is buried there, as well as David Kennedy and um, an infant uh, son of, of Senator Kennedy's. He is Rose's only living son, and he was with her when she died yesterday. This is a time for quiet reflection. John F. Kennedy Jr. walking his dog on the beach, along with his sister Caroline, her husband, and William Kennedy Smith. Three of Rose's daughters are here, along with Arnold Schwarzenegger, here with Rose's grandchild, Maria Shriver. They are talking amongst themselves, but not yet with the world. The family um, will not be coming out to make a statement uh, Today obviously is, uh, is, a, is a private time for them. They uh, appreciate the respect for, for their privacy that people have shown them. Confined to a wheelchair since a 1984 stroke, Mrs. Kennedy called her life a series of agonies and ecstasies. She said, quote, I would much rather be known as the mother of a great son or a great daughter than the author of a great book or the painter of a great masterpiece. She faced uh, the highest of the highs and the lowest of lows and did it with grace and leaves just an indelible impression in people's minds about what it means, uh, what family means. Three priests from Our Lady of Victory Church in Centerville are here to deliver a mass as the wake resumes in about an hour. Vice President Al Gore will attend the funeral tomorrow at St. Stephen's Church in the North End, the very church where Rose Kennedy was baptized more than a century ago. We're live at the Kennedy Compound in Hyannisport, Jonathan Hall, 7 News. Rose Kennedy called the family compound at Hyannisport home. Until her stroke in 1984, Mrs. Kennedy was frequently photographed walking the grounds. She served as the matriarch of a very public family, but Rose Kennedy lived her last years in privacy.